Hi, thank you for choosing to watch this video. God bless you and protect you. May his face shine upon you. Know that you are so precious in our Father's eyes. You are like me, a child of God, and God will never leave you nor forsake you. So this video, this is part three of seven. Uh, this is a series of uh, videos that I'm doing, and it's all centered on praying for family members to be saved. So if you're living in faith now, if you've received Jesus into your life, then having, having the mind of Christ and being filled with the love of God will have done something so significant inside of you like it has for me. And that is a desire and a longing to pray for your family members and your friends, for them also to come into the truth of who they are in Christ. Because for people that don't yet believe and don't yet have faith the truth is the truth and we are all so precious in our father's eyes and to be set free in Christ and to not pray for our family members I just can't see how anyone would ever do that because you want everyone to come into the truth and and in this series of videos part one what I looked at part one, the scripture that I shared was 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 to 6. And this is about knowing God's desire for your family. And 1 Timothy 2, verse 4, tells us that God, our Saviour, wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. Part two God's purpose for your family will prevail. And the scripture that I've shared for part two is from Proverbs 19, 21. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. So part three of this seven part series. So we know, we know what God's desire is. We know that God's plans will prevail. Part three, know that God can do the impossible. So you may be looking at your family circumstances right now. And for those that you're praying for, that you've been praying for, maybe for a, a long time. And it may seem impossible. It may seem impossible that they will come in to faith, that they will receive Jesus into their life. But God is the God of the impossible. God is the way maker. If we go to Luke 18, verse 25 to 27. And I'll read. For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. As we're looking at this scripture, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit is upon you. If you've been set free in Christ, then you may be familiar with the scripture. You may not be. You may be seeing this for the first time. You may be watching this and you haven't been living in faith. You haven't received Jesus yet. Well, everyone that's watching this, including you, God planned for you to be listening to this message before creation. Our Father, the creator of heaven and earth, wants you to truly comprehend that God can do the impossible.
He can do the impossible. So as you think about if you have been praying for family members, however impossible it seems that the family member or, or members that you've been praying for, however impossible it may seem, that they will open their heart and mind to receive Jesus. Yes, things can seem impossible with men, but they are possible with God. We can't change people. We can't change people. Only God. It's through prayer, through faith, through prayer, through interceding, through asking God to help them, through thanking God for their life because the people that you're praying for, for their salvation, they are currently not thanking God for all their blessings, all the good things that they've got in their life, even though the scriptures tell us every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. Our Father, the Almighty God, He is in control. He knows all hearts and minds. We read from the New Testament, Saul. He was someone that was committing crimes against humanity. He was murdering followers of Jesus. People living in faith, people worshipping God. He was murdering them. That was his life. To people around him and the people that he was persecuting, it would have seemed impossible that Saul was ever going to change his heart and mind. Yet, on the road to Damascus, the almighty God chose to pour out his Holy Spirit upon Saul and to speak to Saul and to ask him why he was doing the things he was doing. Saul had an encounter. He had an encounter which transformed his entire life. Saul was transformed. Saul became Paul, the Apostle Paul. To man, that was impossible. It was impossible to change Saul from doing what Saul was doing, no matter what people would have been saying to him, no matter the hurt and the turmoil that Saul was, was causing. Yet, God's will and God's plan for Saul was for him to have that encounter on the road to Damascus because of the plan and purpose that God had for Saul, the Apostle Paul. See, if I just backtrack to part one, what is God's desire for your family? Well, the Apostle Paul writes in 1 Timothy 2, Verse 3, that this is good and pleases God our Saviour who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. Everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. We are to pray for all people. We are to ask God to help them. They're not asking God themselves to help them. They're not praying to God, but we can ask God to help them, to intercede to give them an encounter, to give them a dream, to give them a vision, to send someone into their life, just like God has been sending me into so many people's lives in this first two years of me being in faith and following Jesus. The encounters that I've had, the answers to prayer that have been met when I've gone into someone's life who wasn't living in faith, 
to share with them that Jesus loves you. And then part two, for us to know that God's purpose for your family, it will prevail because people can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail, Proverbs 19, 21. And so no matter how impossible it may seem, no matter the plans that people have made and that, um, what people are making, people that don't live in faith, that haven't been set free in Christ yet, know that God can do the impossible. And the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. God bless you. Thank you everyone for watching this. Rose, Caroline, Jermaine, Jenny, Julie, Victoria, Tracy, Anne. God bless you all, Sue. This screen's gone quite dark. God bless you and protect you all. I pray now in the name of Jesus that you are, as you're seeing these scriptures, whether for the first time or, or you've seen them before, I pray that you are getting new revelation, that your faith is increasing, that your strength and your belief in a miracle, in a miracle of God, I pray that your faith is increasing. I've got four more parts to go. And I pray as I continue to do these parts that you'll see how each of them are connected, that each of them, when you start to use them and bring them together, that they will strengthen you, they will give you more hope. And that you will be, by the end of these seven parts, you will be praying with an, a faith that you have never had before. God bless you and protect you. In the name of Jesus. Amen.